What's happening, guys? So over the past week, I've had around five or six people asking me if I could post a video on my stretching and foam rolling routine. So I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to film as it's game day. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you my pre-game stretching and foam rolling session, as well as a recovery session right after the game. So there's not really a lot of difference between the two sessions. Um, it's just more so to highlight the importance of having a pre-game stretch as well as a recovery stretching session after the game. So it's currently 1 p.m. in the afternoon. The game doesn't start until 7 p.m. tonight, so I've got six hours to prepare for the game. All right, so let's get straight into the session. All right, so my stretching routine is nothing special, honestly. So I'll talk a little bit about each stretch through the voiceover. This first one, I'm just focusing on a hamstring stretch. I'm just extending my legs. I'm just holding for a few seconds. I'm doing five reps for each leg. Give it a good shake and I move on to a basic hamstring stretch. I hold it for 20 seconds for each leg. Now moving on to a glute stretch. Again, I hold for 20 seconds for each leg. Now my glutes were really tight um, this morning, so I decided to add, it, add in an extra glute stretch. This one really hits the spot. Again, 20 seconds each leg. Now moving on to the quads, hold for 20 seconds per leg. Now move on to hip flexors. The hip flexors are a common problem for footballers. They get really tight and they are almost involved in every athletic movement in a football game. I mean, it's involved in your passing, shooting, running, turning, jumping. So it's really important to loosen out your hip flexors. Here, just doing a generic groin stretch. I'm just holding for 20 seconds, giving it a good shake. I'm just adding in another groin stretch, just hitting a different angle of the groin, holding for 20 seconds per leg. I'm just doing the calf stretch. Again, holding 20 seconds each leg. And we can finally move on to the foam rolling. So I really enjoy foam rolling. It's like your own personal masseuse. And personally, it just helps me really get loose before a game. So here I'm just doing 10 reps on both hamstrings. Now I'm just focusing on foam rolling unilaterally. So I'm just hitting different angles of the hamstring. So I'm doing about 10 to 15 reps per leg. So now I'm just moving on to the glutes. So again, I'm just doing 10 rolls per glute. Now just foam rolling the quadriceps, really making sure to loosen up the two major muscles in your legs. And again, 10 rolls per leg. Now I'm just hitting the calves, 10 rolls per calf. So this is something that I've personally added to my own stretching routine. And that is to work on my ankle stability. So for those who have followed me for a while now, you've probably seen me wear ankle guards in all my training sessions. And that's because I've rolled my ankles so many times when I was younger and I've just gotten weaker and weaker each time. So it's really important for me to strengthen my ankles on a regular basis. And so far it's worked for me. I mean I haven't rolled my ankle since I started this ankle strengthening process. And the good thing about this is it can also work on your balance as well. So about five reps in total. So this is the second ankle strengthening exercise. Now this one's a bit different to the previous one as this one's going to focus on training my receptors. In my ankles so part of the reason why I roll my ankles on a regular basis is the receptors going from my brain to my ankle you know, it's telling my ankle not to have a perfect flat surface when touching the ground so every now and then the receptors might tell my ankle but tell my foot to to land on a slight angle and this causes instability in your ankle puts pressure on the ankle and if the ankles are weak it'll force it to roll so what I'm doing here is I'm getting my balance first I'm closing my eyes and the reason I close my eyes is I have no perception of my surroundings so all I can rely on to retain balance is the communication between my brain and my ankle and the transporter there is the receptors so by adding this into my routine on a regular basis 
I'm actually training the receptors that I have left to keep my foot flat and stable whilst running. Alrighty, so that's it for the pre-game stretching and foam rolling routine. So the session didn't really take too long, it took about 15 to 20 minutes. As for now, I'm going to head into the kitchen, so I'm going to grab some lunch for lean protein, complex carbs, some veggies. I'm going to go and answer some emails, uh, go and edit this video, and just prepare myself mentally for the game tonight. So hopefully you come the way of the win tonight, and I'll see you guys after the game. Alright, so we just got back from the game, we beat our rivals 4-2. Scored a goal, which you can watch right now. No comments, score a goal! Oh. 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 That was to go up 3-2. Anyway, so on to recovery. So I've just got home. I just had what was called a contrast shower or contrast therapy. Now, I'm a big fan of contrast therapy. I believe it helps out a ton in your recovery. So what you actually do is you go and have a shower, you set it on cold for 30 seconds, and you quickly transition that to 30 seconds of hot water. You should repeat that five to 10 times. Now, if you have a shower head that's got the cord, you take it off. You can really focus on your lower body areas or any areas where you feel the muscles are stressed and that are really sore. If you don't have a shower head with the cord, that's totally fine. Just have it up as normal and just do the 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. So let's get into the reasons why contrast therapy is so effective. So the cold immersion of the shower, um, that forces the blood vessels to constrict and the hot immersion of the shower causes the blood vessels to dilate, so they open up. Now, doing this 30 seconds uh, cold, 30 seconds hot for 7 to 10 times, that causes a pumping effect in the blood vessels. Um, therefore, it releases all the waste products that's currently stocked up in your muscles. And I couldn't agree more with how contrast therapy works. So, I've got the shower head with the cord and I run really hot for 30 seconds. And as soon as I turn to the cold and I run it down my quad, I could actually feel the waist just going out. It's such a refreshing feeling afterwards. It's definitely a great form of recovery and I highly recommend it. And you definitely won't be feeling as sore the following day. Now I also suffered a cork in my calf during the game or it's formerly known as a muscle contusion. Yeah, it's currently throbbing at the moment so I've got to pay attention to it. And the first 48 hours is vital to recovery. You know, it could mean an extra training day, um, tomorrow or the day after, preferably the day after, as you want tomorrow to be completely off or active recovery. So to cure a cork uh, anywhere in the body, you should ice, use an ice pack if you can. Um, 15 minutes on, then wait about an hour or two before reapplying that ice again, 15 minutes. Um, try and elevate your leg if it's on your leg. If there's any other part of the body, just try have it above heart rate, just so there's no swelling in the area where you feel pain and that ice will definitely help get rid of that waste product as well so you can optimize your recovery time but before i hit the ice packs i've got to get in and do a static stretching session so i'll do that all right now. guys so my static stretching routine is pretty much the same as my pre-game routine so thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed it or if you got some helpful information please hit that thumbs up button comment down below of any pre-game and recovery strategies that you guys might have please share them i'd love to know also if you haven't clicked that subscribe button please do so it really helps to grow my channel and that helps me post more content that's beneficial for you guys anyways i'll see you in the next video